Hey Deepika. Thanks. Thanks Hello. for joining us. Hello everyone. <laughs> hey friends, uh, we have Deepika who's uh, a pre primary teacher. She is a personal counselor dealing with stress, anxiety, depression and you know she does this by profession. Uh, she also teaches meditation. She also practices it. I mean, she's been practicing this for like two years. She also has a channel of her own uh, YouTube channel. She's a YouTuber. She, uh, it's called Be Unlimited. And uh, she is a passionate dancer. So we're going to ask her to dance uh, <laughs> for a while today. <laughs> and she dances. I mean, she apart from dancing, she teaches uh, how to dance to kids of a certain age group. Um, she also owns a franchisee called MeFlix, which uh, deals with uh, speed reading and comprehension. And uh, most importantly, the reason uh, you know the, uh, you know her profile really impressed is because uh, she is driving a community service uh, initiative called uh, Krutanya, so you know, which is based in Hyderabad, and she is doing a lot uh, with help of her strong team. So I've spoken to a couple of them. Um, Krutanya. Uh, so Deepika, please please go ahead and introduce yourself. You have said a lot. In fact, you said everything that I've been doing for all this while. Then, yeah, I am a counselor, I'm a teacher, I'm a meditator. And uh, the best part about my life is Krutanya, the community mm -hmm. service we are into since uh, one and a half year now. So that is the most satisfied part of my life. And yeah, you have said enough, I guess. <laughs> what Good. So... Uh, what what is Krutagya? So, can you give us uh, some details on what are the initiatives you've taken uh, before we get into rapid fire questions? Sure, Krutagya is uh, basically it means being grateful. How grateful you are towards life. That is the meaning of Krutagya. And uh, mm -hmm. our tagline is "Be a blessing." So, we are trying our best to be a blessing in whatever way possible. Uh, we have been visiting different orphanages for all this while. Every second Sunday, we visit an orphanage and provide them with the resources, whatever they need, whether it's shoes, books, or basic ration also. Whatever they need, we provide that. Other than that, we also run a food drive. It is called as crew. It is the short form of Krutanya. It's called as crew. So in the food drive, we provide different, uh, you know, meals. We get meals packed and uh, we have a root map and we distribute food on the roads. That is on fourth Sunday. So yeah, this is all this is going on since one in, one year exactly. And then we have this lockdown and we are not able to move out. <laughs> so uh, yeah. But also the job, I mean, uh, you know, I also hear that you're helping the migrant workers, uh, distributing some food on a regular basis. So awesome job on that. Yes, I mean, we tr we did not stop there. After the quarantine, we have some members who have initiated like Uday, like Ashish, they initiated and uh, we all share our ideas and they have been going out with all the safety measures possible and providing food to the people who are actually walking towards their villages. There are people on the roads who are, you know, randomly without any map walking towards somewhere, you know, they don't even know and they don't have food, they don't have water, anything. So we have been very lucky to help at least uh, some of them, you know, two times it happened. So, so very lucky to be a part of that blessing. <laughs> good, good, good work on that. Uh, and one of the reasons people want to connect and, you know, one of the reasons we are doing this is uh, people want to uh, see, get the confidence who's actually doing execution. See, it's not about uh, raising funds. It's not about giving money or donations for any initiative anybody does. Uh, it's the trust factor if, uh, you know, where does that money go and who's executing it and, you know, how is it executed well. So it's very important. Now now we know you and then, you know, people can connect with you. Uh, we know who's executing it and, you know, how strong the team is. So good. So let's also get to know. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. You were saying something. I just wanted to say that because it is a community service, we do both ways. Like we have things for the members also. Not only we do stuff for the less privileged people or the people who need us, but we have hmm. different things for the members also. Like they write grateful notes and the way they collect the money is also a process. 
so it's like with the prayer we collect money and you know different things for the members also we plan so it's just two way this thing it's just not for giving but the members also should be happy in doing what they are doing so yes we try to do that also that's really nice i i would like to dig into that uh, you know uh, when we meet yeah and it, it's really interesting you know some of these best practices would help uh, uh a lot of other people who are trying to do uh, uh similar initiatives you know yes. might not call it as an ngo but do community service uh, in their own capacity so that really helps so yeah let's quickly get on to the rapid fire questions ready deepika yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah i'm ready i don't know let's see how it goes <laughs> okay your first question what's your favorite childhood candy which is not available now fusion the gum the fusion gum i have been looking for it all this while i don't know if you know the fusion gum just make that too tha uska tattoo lag it's funny but yeah i have been looking for the gum but i'm not finding it and there's one more actually can i also answer one more yeah yeah please there used to be a black and white chocolate that we used to eat with the spoon the smudge uh-huh. the smaller one so i am not finding these two <laughs> yeah audience if you if you get uh, to know what she is talking about please uh, feel free to put it in the comment and any questions during the rapid fire questions now or any time feel free to ask uh, and you know we can pop up and ask those questions so feel free to ask <laughs> rapid fire questions uh, it can be funny so okay <laughs> so it's fusion and the other one we don't know the name yet so we'll try to figure out it's black and it it has a spoon to dig in and have it so yeah coming to the next question uh, this is very tricky and this has bear, been there uh, for a long time in my mind i mean this is not pulled from the internet uh, why do girls jump on the bed i don't <laughs> but why do they do <laughs> i can tell you maybe because they want to keep their inner child alive so what will you do if you want to keep your that little child alive maybe you will jump somewhere or you will you know laugh loudly or do stuff which you used to do when you were you were a child you were young so maybe if they jump let me try today <laughs> so if they <laughs> all of that i think it is because maybe because they are very happy and they can't express in words uh, or they want to keep their inner child alive and just to feel for a moment yeah i think let me try that though <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, what brings a smile in you? Sorry. What brings a smile in you? My smile. What mm-hmm. brings a smile on me? A lot of things. I don't know if you have seen for the continuous chat. I am just smiling. So, I think my face has become like that. <laughs> so, I think we have few people on the screen. You know, default setting is smiling. So. Good. Really. <laughs> So describe yourself uh, as a teenager in three words. Teenager in three words. Happy. Uh-huh. I was a happy teenager and uh, I was naughty. Uh-huh. <laughs> I used to do stuff which I think I can't do now, but I'm still a teenager. I want to say that. And um, yeah, I think uh, happy and naughty and um, you know at a point of time I was very emotional sensitive kind of a girl so yeah mm-hmm. that is my teenage life great so what is that book which has uh, you know which you've read uh, has in, a positive impact on you many ravi i mean asking me one book will be so difficult because on my channel i do book reviews as well so mm-hmm. i would i would just go back into the flashback and say if there was one book which really changed me as a person it was unposted letter by mahatreya rai it's one of the best books i've read and it changed me as a person and i started reading so many books after that so yeah if you had superpowers uh, what the what would that be i want so many superpowers <laughs> but if i I think being invisible. Okay, According to my choice, I would just go invisible and come back. So yeah. Yeah. So what would you do after you go invisible? There, there's somebody who will go to Akshay, Akshay Kumar's house. So 
what would you do <laughs> what would i do after using that power i can't see on the screen now <laughs> okay so who owns or who uh, dominates having the control of your remote tv remote control at home nobody nobody <laughs> nobody no no nobody we have our own uh, you know tvs and all of that but sometimes yeah i have to listen to my father if he wants to watch news i have to keep quiet you know i'm no no way interested in watching news but yeah you cannot tell him give me the remote and let me just change it so yeah that's the only thing i can relate it to right now <laughs> what is the best gift you received ever is it supposed to be material gift can be anything can be anything i think um, many gifts i think i can't say one gift but there were a lot of things but one thing which was very very sweet of somebody was one of my friend made a website of my name on my birthday so on the website when you visit that website proper website you will see all my pictures like childhood pictures and you know my teenage pictures and the best part was there are messages on that written by my family all my family members have written messages and it's a complete website by my name dipikasirwani.com so it's a very big thing for me and it was really sweet for somebody to do that there are many more actually but i don't know it will take another hour <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's one of the most special gifts i have received what is the strangest thing you have ever eaten till date i something which i can never never forget in my life not eaten but drink i mean drank mm -hmm. it so i went to my cousin's place to clean the house and everything and there was this fridge and i randomly opened the fridge and there was a coca cola bottle <laughs> and i thought it's coke how will i mean it was black in color it was coke i opened and i had a sip and it was oil Oh my God! I can never forget that day of my life. It was yucky. <laughs> Which oil was that? So it was some kind of uh, I don't remember that because at that okay. age, my age was fourteen at that time. So it was oil that I remember because I puked a lot after that. So that yeah, I, I can I can only imagine tilka oil in that color, which maybe, maybe similar to. coke but uh, still you know why was it put in the fridge you know generally people don't store anything in the fridge so no clue what happened i'm like coca cola ki bottle hai chalo main khol ke thoda sa pee lete <laughs> it was a bad experience <laughs> yeah which song do you hear the most oh okay so i love music and uh, i have different moods of music so when i'm into complete spiritual meditation thing i listen to all the om dhwani and all of that but mm -hmm. when i want to dance i have my high beat songs but i think i'm more towards the slow soft old songs like dil to pagal oh. hai and all of that like slow soft songs yeah so you're in hyderabad so what is your favorite hangout place should sure, alto i think it's on my tongue since a week we have been talking about that because everything is shut i used to go out a lot so churolto is one place that i want to i'll run and go when it opens it's like that and where is it located so i have not been there but where is it located it's amazing flimnagar okay churolto it's like an italian dessert type of a restaurant so i'm very fond of desserts and mm. that okay so what your favorite dish uh, in this place Uh, risotto. risotto. There's this risotto which they make. They're really nice. You should actually try, and everybody else also. <laughs> Whoever is, you know. Good. What motivates you, Deepika, to do so many things? You're, you're like passionate doing uh, multiple activities. You're a teacher. You teach meditation. You also practice it. Uh, you're running community service. So, what motivates you to do all of these? I think um, realizing the value. realizing that you have a limited time period to do everything you want to do in life mm -hmm. that realization actually motivates me when i realized ki you know now i have to do this also this also this also and i have just 
you know limited time and i started doing everything what i always wanted to i somehow feel i'm pretty late to start stuff i could have done a lot of stuff earlier but yes um, this motivates me that i have to do so many things and when you dream of something you should achieve it is my motivation when i when i actually started changing you know my dreams into reality whether it's dance whether it's community service or whether it's teaching that's all these are my dreams which are i'm living in real life so when you understand that value the realization it will definitely motivate you to do so many things actually we are all capable and we all can do so much but we limit ourselves saying that you know maybe we can't manage time or we can't manage our energy but all of you and you know we can do what we want to do so right now i'm in that zone so i can say that okay if you were given a chance to pick up a brand for which you can become a ceo which multinational or indian brand would that be it has to be a large company very famous company of which you want to become the ceo i think i am very fond of jeans like denim jeans mm -hmm. so i would either choose tommy hilfiger and levi's or other than that marks and spencer is i want to own marks and spencer <laughs> i want to become a ceo and the model for marks and spencer so yeah that would be my one brand yeah. awesome so that finishes the rapid fire question uh, i think you you answered it very subtly as if you prepared so <laughs> good <laughs> good you. job on that so now coming to the you know the main subject so we are the cm for one minute so what are the areas you would focus on and uh, implement if you become the cm you know thinking about that only is feeling like you know i'll be the cm <laughs> but um, <clears throat> there are there are st things that the government is doing which is commendable and frankly after uh, modi ji we have been very lucky to see so many new changes in the country and if i was the cm for uh, telangana i think um, i would actually see whatever the government is doing and whatever the the money or the food or whatever they are doing for the less privileged is good is very good actually but they should actually find out if it is reaching them you know they're doing it but we don't know if it's reaching because you know we we see on the road still the people are without water still they are without food and still they don't they haven't received any money so far so i would request i would put that a request saying that you know just see where the money is going is it reaching them is the ration and the food reaching at the right place and this mm. is what uh, i can think of right now <laughs> very well answered uh, deepika so thanks a lot for joining in uh, i wish you and your team all the success on whatever you doing so keep up the good work any uh, I'm, i'm sure a lot of people will uh, start following you and your initiatives so i'll share the link of uh, where we can follow kritigya and the initiatives of uh, deepika and team so feel free to share any time you need help just raise your uh, voice uh, deepika just ask for it and uh, all the friends will try to do our best to make it happen okay thank and i would i would want to thank you and uh, you know everybody else uh, i see some of my members who have joined the live chat and i want to thank all of you for being a part of krutanya for doing whatever you're doing and uh, thank you ravi for giving us this opportunity this platform to speak about what all we are doing it means a lot for all of us and i'm really grateful about it thank you <laughs> most welcome thank you deepika thanks for the time thank you all so best. much thank you